What's going on everybody, it's Cold Side Tip, you guys, bringing you a Brass Knuckles Nuclear with the Dark Matter camo in Black Ops 3. If you guys don't know, you get a nuclear medal by getting 30 kills without dying. Not counting score streaks, so this is 30 kills with the Brass Knuckles without dying. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. This took me a while to get, if you guys didn't know, I was streaming this on Twitch, which I stream every day if you guys want to check that out. Going for this challenge and i died on 228 and the game ended on a 29 one so it was definitely a struggle to get this but uh i'm happy i was finally able to get it thank you to my teammates as well who are helping me i really appreciate them they definitely were a big help in this you know calling in haters and all that type of stuff so definitely appreciate it thank you to all you guys who helped me get this definitely could have done it without you i've thought about going for like a nuked out with these but i think that might be just like way 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 too hard you'd have to get extremely lucky to be able to do that so i don't know if i'm gonna do that or not but uh for now i'm just gonna be happy with getting a regular nuclear and domination uh obviously i'll show you guys the class setup i was using as well on screen um right now i'm trying to think of it off the top of my head i know i was using afterburner i think overclock Oh, no, I was using Afterburner, Flag Jacket, Hardwired, uh, Tack Mask, I think? I don't know, you guys will see the class setup on screen, but th it was weird because this was the first game I played using this specific class. Uh, before I was using, like, Scavenger with two flashes, and I thought, you know, that would be helpful, but I knew we were playing Evac, so, you know, I thought I'd put on Afterburner to take advantage of the wall runs you can use on this map, but obviously you guys will see I didn't really take advantage of the wall runs too much in this game, so... I don't know, Afterburner can still be a little bit helpful because, you know, you get your boost faster in general so you can, like, slide more and jump more and all that type of stuff. So it can be, you know, kind of a big help as well. But also, I threw on Hardwired because a bunch of people in my stream were saying that I died to, like, six Sense or something. So if you guys don't know, six Sense is a perk that, like, shows the enemies, like, where you are on the map if you're close. So I think I died on, like, a 20-something streak, like, the game before this. So they were telling me to put on uh, Hardwired so I wouldn't die to six Sense. So I was using that as well, and it just so happened that I got it the first game. So I don't know if that made a huge difference or not, but uh, initially, you know, I thought using two flashes uh, with scavenger would help a ton because obviously with scavenger you continually pick up grenades. So I was just constantly flashing them in their spawn, but I guess I didn't really end up needing it. I don't know. Maybe using flashes makes them camp more. I really don't know. So you guys also see I'm using heat wave. Uh, I was looking at all the possible specialists to use, and I think for me it was like a choice between heat wave and kinetic armor, and I think you get heat heat wave quicker like the heat wave timer is shorter so it charges up more quickly and so that's why i decided to use heat wave um i think it might have saved me a couple times here uh but i didn't get anything like too the only thing i'm disappointed in myself in this game is i didn't get like any like crazy like three or four pieces which i think i might upload like i don't i don't I, i'm not sure i'm gonna use it but i know like when i was going for this challenge like there were some crazy streaks that i got on but i didn't end up getting the nuclear so like i never saved them but i don't know i kind of want to show those so maybe i'll upload like a best of brass knuckles video or something showing you guys some of the cool streaks i got using these but um anyways i can't complain too much uh, you'll see i was we kept them on a pretty much the entire time and in my opinion like going for a challenge like this at least in a party i don't know i guess solo you might be able to run around the map more and like use different i don't know i, I at least for what we were doing we were trying to keep them on one flag pretty much evac combine and nuketown were like the best choices but i found like in nuketown like they just camped all the way in the back of their spawn so it was really hard to get to them where this there's a lot of different like areas they can come from a little a lot of tight corners as well so that's why i thought this was a really good map to go for as well so it did end up working out i think i died on a 28 on this map previously as well so i'm glad i was finally able to get it as you guys can see i'm just about to get a brutal medal right here so that's 25 kills and at this point Point, I think like or not quite yet but I think the hater or like you know the thing on the map that shows where everybody is on the mini map I think it starts to like fade at some point so basically yeah right here I think it starts to fade or no we I, I don't know at some point you'll see at the end the hater just completely goes away and you guys will see just how clutch like getting the nuclear actually was honestly like when I when I was playing I didn't even think I got the nuclear everybody in the chat was telling me I got it and I honestly thought they were trolling me because I died on such a high streak. I didn't believe them. I thought they were trolling me. But um, I did end up getting it very luckily. So uh, once again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If there's any other types of like unique gameplays you guys want me to go for, uh, let me know because I want to upload unique stuff like this showing off like for like I know a lot of people don't have these melee weapons because they're so hard to get. Um, just think we played like 
we played on an account 24/7 for like a month straight, and we only got one of them. I've I've played a lot on my personal account as well, and I've never got any of them. So uh, maybe in the future, if we get another one, I'll be able to use like the wrench or the butterfly knife or something. And actually, I'm thinking they might even add more of these types of weapons in the future, like when the DLC comes out, which is, should be out in a couple weeks, I think. So maybe there will be even more unique weapons in the game later on down the line that I can go for challenges like this for, because it's definitely a lot of fun, even though it did take me a while and it kind of sucked that I died on so many high streaks, but it ended up being a lot of fun and it just made completing it that much better. But you guys will see right here, I'm kind of in the corner, not really sure where to go at this point. And as soon as I saw that somebody was coming, I just kind of YOLO'd it and went for him and used that boost slide to my advantage. But you guys will see, I get sniped right after killing this kid. And that last kill where I was sliding the melee, that guy actually gave him the nuclear. So uh, when I spawned back in, I didn't even realize that the nuclear metal had or not the metal, but the text had pop up. So uh, I didn't even realize. I thought I was getting trolled. And after the game, when I checked, I did see that I, in fact, got a nuclear. So it was definitely really cool. Um, if you guys could leave a like on the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. It took me a while to get. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate that as well. And once again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. All right, see ya.